Hi, in this video I will show you a way to make your in-game text to look smooth with much lower texture resolution and very simple material logic. So let's begin. In my case I will use Photoshop because it's my primary image editing software, but you can use other free alternative. Keep in mind this is not a Photoshop tutorial, so I will just show stuff we need and then I will jump into FN. Let's start with a new file. We'll create 124 by 124 with a black background. So usually it's fine to start with a bigger and then later on we can resize. So now make sure that foreground it's white. And I will add text. So my text is white. With a move tool. If you're moving, you can find this pink line, so it says where your element, like now in this case it's text, it could be like image, it's in the center. So this is vertical center, and now if I will move down, see now it's in the middle of my text, so now it means my text is perfectly in the center of the texture. And I need to remove all this empty background because that's useless. And what I need to do is crop and text it's almost filling whole space horizontally so I will keep it on 124 but then uh, vertically I will check closest to power of 2 so you see now I'm around 242 so closest it will be 256 so let's aim for 256 here we go crop I'll go to image image size it says 124 by 256. So this is power of 2. This is totally fine for UFN. Now what I will do. I will export this one without any modifications. And then for this technique. Now I will do little adjustment. So then our text will work much better in a game. And this is not just only for the text. It could be like buffer shapes as well. When you have your this layer selected, so in my case this is a text layer. So we need to go with effects, blending options, and in here stroke. I don't think I can reset it fully, but I think you should have outside normal or multiply, but basically we need normal. Then size probably will be like really tiny. Here will be color. I don't remember opacity, but something like this. Yeah, so this is mainly for the stroke. So maybe like that you will have. So let's start from, from this. So as you saw, from the position, we need not outside and not inside. We need center. Let's scale it up a little bit. So opacity, I'm using 100%. Now, instead of color, we need gradient. And in the gradient, it will be linear by default. So linear, you see like here is angle. It basically in one direction of this angle it's a black and another is white. And this is not what we need. What we need is basically like each letter or each shape, whatever you will have, used as a gradient start point, and then gradients goes from that into all directions. So linear is definitely not. Yeah, it's same like radial, for example. So nothing is working in here. What we need is shape burst. So now you see if I'm going to shape burst. This is what we need. So each letter, it looks like that. And it's because it's in the center. So gradient goes in both directions, inside and outside. So for example, this is what look at outside. See like our text, it's really glowing pure white in the center and it goes outside. But we need in the center like that and make sure it's normal. We can play with opacity like that. I will use maybe something like 90%. Don't go crazy with that, especially make sure it's not going off the edge of the image. Now you see like angle is not working at all. We don't care about angle. Scale, I will leave it on 100%. So that's it. So this is how it looks. I don't want to go into very technical things, but distance fields in a math, it basically says like a distance between brightest and the darkest point. So when you're starting, when you're ending. And uh, there are even different techniques in the 3D uh, distance fields. It's basically called distance field to nearest. It's basically how close one object is to another. And we can do then different maps to blend them like nicely together. 
this technique is really great because we can make something really sharp looking and high quality with a much lower resolution. Now let's export this texture. PNG. Same as my text, just number two. Now let's jump back to UFN. Import. Let's select both of them. Let's save and create material. Let's add plane. So we can preview our text. I will scale it to maybe like five meters. And in that direction, I will scale it even more. Now let's drag and drop our material on this plane. Okay, let's open material. I will set it to masked. It can work with translucent as well. Now let's drag and drop our textures in it. What I will do first, so we can compare, I will create layer. And then in here, I will use red channel and that's red channel and parameter for switch. This is just purely for preview between both textures. I will set maximum to one. So this will be slider and let's connect to base color for now. So on the zero, it will be our normal texture. And if we will set it to one, this is our, this with gradient distant field. Look like that. Doesn't look nice just for now. Now we need to do some tweaks for this texture. So in here, so you can see it says 124 by 256. Sometimes UFN still will show you a warning about power of two, blah, blah, blah. So it's, I don't know why. You can fix that, just go into padding and resizing and set it stretch to power of two. Don't worry about words stretching. It won't stretch because your texture is already power of two. Even if it's not power of two, I never saw issues with this. So you're just basically setting it that and this warning will go away. Okay. So then one of the things people doing usually with a text, like they switching off uh, MIP maps. And yes, that's most of the time helping, but don't forget MIP maps, they are for optimization reasons. So for example, if we, let's say so far away, okay, from your text or even further away, we don't see so many pixels anymore. So why your GPU need to render full resolution of the texture? And now, because you're further away from this object, maybe you will see even more objects, which means your GPU will need to render more and more and more information, and that's bad. But what MIP Map's doing is basically it lowers your resolution based on the distance to the camera. So it means it's your GPU requires less pixels to render, like less samples from your texture. Okay, so this is fine. And um, in here, in compression, I will set it to vector displacement. You will notice that size now jumped up. Yes, because vector displacement uh, is like getting more information there. But we will lower this size anyways, and you will see later it will drop. So now what we want to do is let add smooth step. Connect it back in there. Create the color parameter minimum, yeah, minimum and maximum. And now let's play with them. Now with this one, we'll go something like 112 maybe. Yeah, this one will be, yeah, for now 112 and this one lower. So what you already can see, let's save and preview. You can see that areas especially diagonal areas they're much smoother than for example in here see this pixelation okay or on the round these areas and let's open both textures so if i will start reducing resolution on this one so let's say i will set it to one so now it's 512 by 128 and this one i will set to one and see it's even became more smooth, but 
yeah there is more smooth and if I will go to this one original it's more pixelated now let's change to 2 and you can see like oh yeah now it's really bad but with this one if I will change it to 2 and let's set it to 1 looks pretty good but we're talking about 256 by 64 pixels for 5 meters by like 2 meters or something like that text it's a huge text and now size in this texture 2 with 256 by 64 we have now 85 kilobytes only really tiny it's not getting pixelated but it's losing a little shape it's more kind of like a low poly mesh instead of like pixels and if I will go even lower you will see that you see it's it's losing shape of the text but it's not getting pixelated so if I will go like like this uh, we can still a little bit see if some text but yeah it's really too low but it's holding up not bad so I will keep it on 512 by 128 and you see it's when I jumped from 124 to 512 so it's number one so 512 but size look it was 1365 and now 341 it's reduced a lot but now we can play with this so let's remove now this text so we preview that yeah this one it's working pretty well what I want to do now is just for the sake of security I will add saturation so to keep it between 0 and 1 because this will be our mask and uh, I will copy this yeah, let's put it here and from here I will add to another smooth step and I'll keep saturate and I will create another minimum and maximum let's maybe rename text minimum text maximum and in here will be outline minimum and outline maximum now to combine them instead of add I will use max so this one will go into opacity so basically max it picks brightest and that's together so we have that and now this one because this will be our outline or stroke I will use as a mask or lerp between colors call this one outline color and this one I will keep text color on white and outline maybe set something colorful let's save so we won't see much because our outline is still on zero zero now let's play with that now because of this one i will need to add uh, this a small step increase a little bit if you don't remember with a smooth step you can control size of something for example how wide now this um, outline is but at the same time closer the minimum and maximum parameters are to each other sharper it will be further away it will be more blurry so for example now it's 0 0.55 and here it's 0 0.84 if i will lower this number now I have 0 0.6 and now this one 157 and you see this outline is really sharp actually inside of this texture I forgot I need to switch off sRGB and here I will get error because I need to change now from the color into linear color. So we save.
here we go much better so you can see like if sometimes you have some issues make sure that you know do you need this srgb enabled or not so for example maybe on this text i need because it's default if you will use mask it automatically switches off srgb so this one when i change to a uh, displacement it didn't switch it off so keep that in mind okay so now with 512 by 128 my texture looks pretty good and if i will try to lower that you can see like it's ridiculous number like 85 kilobytes and 256 by 64 and from this distance it still looks pretty good and maybe sometimes you want this text to look a little bit broken not broken like stylized so that's even like useful for you so like for example this um, and you can play again with these parameters they can still fix a little bit your text yeah like this looks interesting and again it uses like tiny memory and the, your in-game texture resolution is really really low I would like to say thank you to my all supporters. I appreciate your support. Thank you for your generosity. You can join our growing Discord community where we like to discuss UFN tips and tricks, showcase our work and help each other. You can find link in the description or in the channel header. You can get project files on my Patreon or just buy me a coffee to support me. If you're interested in learning more about UFN materials, coding, widget UI and more, feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications when new videos will be released. See you soon.